Have you ever thought of the real life applications of sentiment analysis? More importantly, do you want to create a visible impact with this tool? If so, stay tuned and follow along to this video. Hello, my name is Rohak and I'm the founder of Empower Code, helping you make a change with technology. Today marks the 10th episode of my course, Data Science for Media Bias Detection, where I'll be showing you how sentiment analysis can be used to detect news bias in the media. Let's get right into it. News articles contain bounties of text filled with factual information, but also author bias and crude subjectivity. In a previous video, I discussed the harmful nature of news bias. Be sure to check that one out. But this is the point. The unhealthy role of emotion in news articles is tearing away at the relevant information and opinions that should be taken note of. This is where sentiment analysis can make a big difference. If you watched the previous videos in this course and video series, you would have noticed that we were able to successfully extract the latest and most recent article URLs from the technology section of the New York Times. Now that we've extracted the important text that we need, we can use packages like TextBlob, which are designed for sentiment analysis and text processing to scan these articles. In addition, we could implement a simple pairing of if statements to classify different levels of polarity and subjectivity. Now, in case you need a quick refresher, Polarity quantifies whether a statement is positive or negative, and subjectivity generally refers to personal opinion, emotion, or judgment. By using fine-grained methods of sentiment analysis where different ranges of polarity are matched to a sentiment, we can accurately scan and use Python to gauge the level of media bias in news articles. At the end of the day, Sentiment analysis is all about leveraging the power of text processing tools and machine learning to quicken the process of manually scanning and analyzing large pieces of text. Follow the next couple episodes in my course to see how I use Python and TextBlob to detect news bias on New York Times technology related articles. Stay tuned and get ready. I can't wait to see all of you in the future videos. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.